Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a binary to deanery converter. As you've seen here, um, I've created an Excel file in which um, I've just named it binary converter and I'm just going to name the sheet that I'm within binary to deanery. And so this will convert from base 2 to base 10. Um, First of all, I'm just going to lay out the area that I want to convert the number into, and it'll need to have eight boxes. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a box around it for borders. And then I'll just chop a border around the outside. And then within here, I will size these so they look more like a binary number. And all borders in that section and so what I'd like is that I will type in a binary number here let's call that binary and it will output a deanery number here super and so to start with I'm going to pop in a binary number and this will effectively use the same process as a when we convert with pen and paper and so each of the columns will need to put the value of the column above it so it's going up in powers of two in fact I don't need to type this in I can actually type in a formula here equals that one times two and then I can copy replicate that formula across and you'll see that it goes up exponentially um, and then the value of each column is calculated by adding and by timesing the column value by the number underneath it and then adding them all up. So that would equal that one there equals that one times that one, enter. And then I drag, that sort of copy replicates and drags the formula through. So you'll see that here, that was, I typed in equals d5 times d6. That one there is d6, and that one there is d5. Um, and then I copy and replicated that out into all of them. Now what I'm left with is I need to add up all of them as the deanery total. And so I'll place an equal sign in there, and then I will use the formula sum. What that does is, within the brackets, it requires a range of numbers to be placed in there. So the range there is D7 all the way to K7. Close off the brackets and click Enter, and I've got the number 170. Let's just check this. So we know that if I've got a byte, as I have here, and I place them all at 1, that's 255, and that works perfectly. Maybe I'd like to move this into somewhere a bit more meaningful. Um, oopsie. border and the same with this one here yep and then place a border around the whole of that super duper there we go and make that one bold and I'm going to make that one bold and now I'd also like to format it to get rid of some of these numbers and so I can do that just I could potentially hide these cells and format a little better just sort of do a sort of shortcut and just make them white and these ones here can also be white no you can't see them and I'll probably want to put a black border around the 255 number as well and then finally um, I'm going to go to view da -da -da -da. Where is that? In a Mac, it's in a slightly different place. You need to go to Excel Preferences, and then View, and then Show Grid Lines. Click OK. And maybe I also want to go and on the View and show the formula bars as well. should do okay brilliant so you can save your work and you've completed the first stage of the binary to deanery converter